This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at exothermic and endothermic reactions. In this video, we look at two types of reactions. Exothermic reactions, in which heat flows from the system to the surroundings, and endothermic reactions, in which heat flows from the surroundings into the system. Before we look at these reactions in more detail, we need to know the difference between the system and the surroundings. The system is the reactants and the products, the chemical reaction. The surroundings consist of everything else outside of the system, including the reaction mixture. Let's start by looking at exothermic reactions. In an exothermic reaction, heat flows from the system to the surroundings. The temperature of the reaction mixture in the test tube and the surroundings increases as heat is released. Examples of exothermic reactions include combustion and neutralization. In a neutralization reaction, an acid and a base are mixed in a test tube and the temperature of the solution increases. Therefore, it's an exothermic reaction. Next, we look at an enthalpy level diagram for an exothermic reaction. The delta H, that's the change in enthalpy, is negative or less than zero. The products have lower enthalpy than the reactants, and the products are more energetically stable than reactants. Next we look at endothermic reactions. In an endothermic reaction, heat flows from the surroundings to the system. As you can see, this is the opposite of an exothermic reaction, in which heat is released from the system to the surroundings. In an endothermic reaction, the temperature of the reaction mixture and the surroundings decreases as heat is absorbed. Examples of endothermic reactions include photosynthesis and thermal decomposition reactions. Here we have an enthalpy level diagram for an endothermic reaction. The delta H, that's the change in enthalpy, is positive or greater than zero. The reactants have lower enthalpy than the products, and the reactants are more energetically stable than the products. Let's end with a summary. The enthalpy change in an exothermic reaction is negative. For an endothermic reaction, it's positive. Which has lower enthalpy? In an exothermic reaction, it's the products. In an endothermic reaction, it's the reactants. Which is more energetically stable? For an exothermic reaction, it's the products. For an endothermic reaction, it's the reactants. And finally, is heat absorbed or released? For an exothermic reaction, Heat is released from the system to the surroundings. For an endothermic reaction, heat is absorbed from the surroundings to the system.